Hey everyone, welcome back. Those of you who have um, decided to become subscribers for Honey Bee You Tarot, and welcome to anyone who is coming across this video uh, for the first time. My name is Melissa. Melissa means Honey Bee, and you, of course, are all of you, and you are very important to me because if you weren't here and a part of uh, this process for me, I couldn't be doing and living out um, what I think is a huge part of my purpose and passion and reason for being here. It's 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 my why I do something else as well. I'm a licensed professional counselor, uh, but here in Honey Bee You Tarot, um, this is just a, diff a whole different way of me authentically expressing myself and um, if any of these readings help, even one of you, then um, I'm grateful for that. Um, I also believe that we're all connected. And so um, for each one of us that is doing our work, that is healing, that is um, uh, becoming more intentional in the, uh, the desire to uh, level up spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, then then you are uh, also doing that for um, the collective. Okay, so this is for the new moon in Leo. Um, I'll just say right away that I, I, I feel, as I've been listening to some of the astrologers that, astrologers that I listen to, that this is... Um, a time to really be aware, moment to moment, day to day, of the serenity prayer. Uh, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, right, which involves the self, and the wisdom to know the difference. So I'm going to incorporate that into this uh, new moon reading. Um, and I'm going to do one giant collective reading. And then I will pull um, oracle cards, one to look at um, uh, what is a possible block for your sun sign. Okay, so your sun, your moon, your rising sign. I suggest that you uh, really look at your rising sign um, and then move into your sun and your moon if you so desire. Um, <clears throat> Anything else that I wanted to say? Oh, please just take a second to like, share, or subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Um, okay, so let's look at moving into the collective. I've shuffled all of these cards. I've cleared, I've cleansed, I've set my intentions, I've said my prayers. And so let's look at what the collective is dealing with right now in um let's see so it's the 18th is when we um hit that new moon in leo um if you if you've watched me you know that i like to have the card either actually flip over or out um but i do i can tell you uh what wants to come out Ooh, nice. Bottom of the deck. Hold your vision. Hold your vision. Okay. So, all right. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon. Full moon in Leo. Okay. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Yes, I feel like that is one of the reasons why I want everyone to remember the serenity prayer moment to moment to moment because today you might say, okay, yes, I know I don't have control over that, but I can do this. And then tomorrow shows up or something sudden and let's face it, we're in the season of everything's changing suddenly, moment to moment, things are coming out new information, um, storm, I mean, all kinds of things, right, are happening. So um, when something shifts, we also have to be able to pivot, right? 
and you're very close to achieving your goal. Yes, so just hold, hold the vision, whatever your goal is um, individually. Um, uh, hold that vision. Um, another reason why I think that the serenity prayer is going to be so important for all of us, um, not just now, but it seems to be like necessary to to be stated right now, um, but over the next the rest of the year is because um, there are certain energies that are present. Mars and Aries, like um, move, go forward, go get it. You know, um, uh, I want what I want when I want it, and I can get it. You know, um, that super confident sense of um, self and striving. Uh, and that is coming up against a whole bunch of other planets um, in, is it, I think in Capricorn or, anyway, Saturn and Capricorn, right, which is like structure, stability, what's always been, um, is, um, opposite those energies in some ways. Again, I am not an astrologer. I'm going to start studying astrology. But um, as I was listening to some of the astrologers, that was the sense I was getting like, oh, wow, this really is a time to be very aware of um, what I can do while I have to wait for whatever it is. Um, divine timing, the right energies to move in, the right opportunities to show up, um, uh, whatever it is, what can I do like right now? Because um, certainly there are lots of, lots of things <coughs> that we don't have control over. And we don't want to be so um, set in our own way or ego um, pride, right? Um, and so set in our own sense of how things should be or um, how we are or how we have always been or I have always been, uh, this is the way it's always been done, that we can't move and go with the changing realities, right? Um, and that's a huge uh, life lesson uh, to learn, really, is to stop kind of fighting against um, change, fighting against what is, um, resisting the flow of life. Um, and so, you know, it's important to have a good, healthy um, understanding of who you are and ego and confidence and play and expression. Uh, but it's also equally as important to have um, the ability to be more open and curious and flexible um, uh, with life. And, um, and I just had a thought and it just left the building. Um, so... Okay, so that I think is the main sort of overarching idea. But let's look at <clears throat> what is this about? What is this about? Let me see. Yeah, good. And of course, it's going to be different for everyone. Oh, the magician, the bottom of the deck. Yes. Okay, so understanding. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> we've got six of swords. So we are 
moving into calmer waters, so to speak. Getting out of the turbulence and maybe with this, you know, staff or um, whatever this black thing is that he has in the water that's helping kind of pull him and these people from the choppier waters into the calmer waters. This for me, black always represents pure potential. This guy here understands pure potential and has everything that it needs to create with what is given to us. The air energy, the fire energy, the earth energy, the water energy, the elements, um, as well as uh, faith um, in spirit, faith in um, faith in Use a bell or something wrapped around his waist. That when I was holding the card up, I was really drawn to it. It's not, it does not look like what I thought it what was going to look like when I held it up. It looks like a snake. Here. which is a symbol of regeneration, healing, um, wow, to even get into the snake thing is, would be a lie. I don't even know if it is a snake, but that's what it looks like to me. And so I feel, and look, we've got like the white lilies here sticking out. Um, I think some people are really going to be, are really feeling, because I'm feeling it coming up right now, are really feeling a sense of, they're feeling this, like I'm oh, feeling some kind of like I'm finally out of the storm. Um, things may be letting up. Um, there's hope and healing and a potential here to really um, transform, regenerate, renew uh, myself individually or maybe, you know, on the world's global scale, I think you know, everyone's talking about this, but uh, there may be right now just kind of like that sense, that feeling that it is possible. We can do it. Uh, I just need to say together. Together. Because sometimes, the way I look at this card, sometimes we're these people and sometimes we're this person. And we have to be willing to uh, see ourselves in that way. That and in, in community, sometimes 
we are the ones who offer help and sometimes we're the ones who accept help and sometimes we're a have and sometimes we're a have not and sometimes we feel strong and sometimes we feel weak. But we always have this power. Okay. Whew. I need to pause and turn my air conditioning down. Okay, am I back? Yes. Okay, so now let's look at, um, okay, well, what is a potential action step? Remember, the individual is necessarily a part of the collective, and the collective is necessarily a part of the individual. So, you know, this can apply um, for you individually, or if it doesn't quite seem to fit, just trust. Wow. Uh, just trust that it there is a message in here for you. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, Is the Empress, right? The Creator. Um, she is fertile. She is pregnant. She is with, um, in the flow of all the, you know, she wears the crown of the cosmos, right? Of the stars. And uh, Venus, love, abundance, Prosperity, um, sits at the foundation of her, I don't know if I would call that a throne or what I would call that, but but it's like it's the the Venus symbol, right? It's carved into this heart and then the water is flowing. So she's just in her creative flow, like Mother Nature. Um, let's see what's in here. So, hmm, okay. Possible action step is for you to take some time to really think about what it is that you want to put in your cups. Um, what is going to make you feel abundant and emotionally in your flow and um, creative and uh, content, but I don't... I guess content would be a good word. Um, again, so we have the number seven, which again for me is a number of potential. One thing I've, I've not really said uh, before is when I say potential about the number seven, what I mean is there's this choice point where this is, and this is just for me, and this is my reading, so this is how I'm interpreting it. Anytime I see seven, it's a potential to make a choice to level up spiritually. On the spiritual level, on an enlightenment level, um, in as a co-creator, um, and that's that's really important to understand when you're looking at like these cups because there's something that's not shown here. Some people say this card is about illusions and delusions, um, and that could be. 
that can be. But if we know we are the magician and we know and have the Empress energy there, we can still create and put in this cup what we choose, okay? And so if we're thinking about utilizing the serenity prayer, I would say the action right now is not to necessarily take action, but to spend some time becoming very clear on if you want to move into calmer waters, if you have a goal or something that you have wanted to achieve, then take some very intentional, sacred, soul-searching time to be very clear, set your intentions on what it is that you want to put in that cup. Because I think whatever it is that you put in this cup is going to is going to be your bun in the oven. I mean, this is the time to become very clear. Okay, potential outcome. Oh, yeah. Wow, another seven. And then now we've got six of cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? So let's think about those things that are coming from your own your inner child, childhood dreams, uh, childhood wishes. Um, they may be things that are healing to your inner child. Uh, and we all have an inner child, okay, that's alive and well uh, within us. And it's playful, and it's creative, and it's spontaneous, and it says, I want what I want when I want it. Um, and it's not a, it's not a brat, because there is that part of the inner child too, but the creative, spontaneous, joyful, playful, innocent child, of course wants what they want when they want it. Like, why not? The world is my oyster. And if anywhere along the line you were denied the expression of that part of you, or you had to stifle it, or you have wounding that around even understanding it's okay to ask for what you want, to be who you are, to be authentic, this would be the time to get really clear and intentional on healing that part, on healing that part of you. See the big, the cup is being offered. I don't know, they call this a dwarf and I don't know which one's a dwarf, one's, one's a child. I don't, I don't get that. But for me, as therapist, I see healing, healing and love offered to the inner child. Okay. Maybe, um, you know, again, going deep, deep within, um, doing your work. Uh, 
Huh. Look at this. Oh, can you see in the background this guy? Walking with that black stick, right? Almost like he took them to safe lands, landing to, to solid ground. And he's walking back in the shadows of this. And this is where this now can come forward and we can do some healing here. Two sixes, very interesting. And two sevens. Wait, I didn't. Okay. Um, now, the card that did come out in the action to take, right? The chariot. This is someone who has been through the first level of the major arcana. Um, they are um, aware of their successes. Um, they have achieved a certain victory. Um, maybe a certain understanding at one level. But there's um, 14 more cards to go. Something like that. Two more levels. So it's okay to take that victory lap. It's important to allow yourself to say, hey, I am a warrior. I am a victor in certain areas of my life. It was, um, and to Allow yourself to pause before you decide which way you want to go. Okay, you've already come through one victory, one level, one, um, this isn't even a word that's coming to my head, so I'm not, <laughs> what is this, what is this word? Conquer ship. I know it's not a word. It's the word that's in my head. So I guess I'll just say it. It's not a word. Do you know what I mean? Um, and so, you know, when we do that, we don't just run into the next battle, right? Um, or, you know, I mean, think about, let's just say you graduated, you got your BA, and um, you know that uh, you want to attend grad school. Um, but wow, that was a lot of work. That was a lot of money. That was a lot of time. That was a lot of energy. That was a lot of sacrifice. That was a lot of things that now you just kind of want to take a breath, right? Maybe you want to take a year off. Maybe you want to, um, just catch your breath. You know, maybe you've got a summer off or a semester before you want to start again. That's what this is like to me. It's like I get to do my victory dance and I get to feel really, really proud of myself. But I know there's more to do. I, not but, and I know, and I know there is more to go along this journey, but right now, I just want to enjoy the fact that I got this far, and then I will make a, a wise, informed decision on which way I want to drive my chariot.
And I really, since this is a major arcana that is right here in this possible outcome card uh, position, I think this is really important. Um, it's like some people um, somehow related to cancer. There's water in the background here. Honor your heart, honor your heart space, honor um, what would help you to feel stable, but also, and authentic, but also like, what is going on? No, this is restart. No, I'm sorry. Gotta get them up on my computer. Um, but would fill your heart with the, the joy of a child, you know, of your inner child. Okay. Okay. So. <clears throat> What do you need to accept? What do we need to accept right now? Okay. What do we need to accept? Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Interesting. So, again, if you watch me, I consider this card like the cats in the cradle card. There is this sense that I have, so far I have created, I have amassed something that's very physical, very tangible, very in the material world, money, things, job, family, family you know, whatever. I've, I've created that. But now that thing has reached its level. It's time to start something new, something maybe more authentic. Um, hmm. At the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so she's very independent. For me, she reminds me a lot of the Empress um, energy. Uh, she knows that she can create anything that she wants. She's done the work already, so she's very confident in it. She's not worried uh, about her ability or competency. Um, she's she's very independent. Did I say that? Um, wow, and underneath that is the Ace of Cups. So... So, serenity to accept the things I cannot change. I cannot change maybe you know, for some of you there may be a loss um, of connection, of family, of a sense of this is who I am and this is what I do to create money. Right? I mean, now that I'm just saying that, that of course, that makes perfect sense. Um, you know, that is coming to an end. There may be some sense of, for some people, there may be some sense of 
regret, remorse. Why did I choose to do this? This wasn't, you know, this, this, what, what has all this been for? Um, you know, when it comes down to it, uh, is this all there is? You work, the virus comes in and then you die. I mean, like, what, am, what, what was I doing here? And for others, it's just a recognition like, okay, um, I have done all of these things and yet it's, I can't stagnate here. I can't just sit with, with this. There's, there's more, right? There's more. Um, okay, so do you see the wand there? Like leaning up against the arch? So again, you know, I feel like he, this old man reminds me of the um, King of Pentacles where in his shadow energy, he like amasses everything and then he gets buried in it. Right, he just the vines of you know grow all over around him, and he just that's like in the shadow aspect, right? He's not enjoying it like the queen. Um, he is becoming um, chained or uh, I don't know if I would say obsessed, but. Um, heavy with it, like, um, bogged down, right? Um, so, so there's a part of that. Now, with the wand, that reminds me more of the magician, where the magician was full of you know, energy and potential, like I'm now, I'm going to, um, this wand was in his hand, right? And he was raising it up to, to spirit and pulling that energy down through his body to manifest it into, into being. And here it's like, it's leaning up against the, the arch. This isn't the time to kind of sit and count your money. You know what I mean? Like it's, or to beat yourself up for choices not um, taken, roads not taken. That's not, no, that isn't going to be helpful at all. This is the, the time to look at what you have achieved, to understand that you are a, a, a warrior because you're here living life. Um, and then to decide, okay, what are the things I need to let go of? So that I can trust and move forward when the time is right. Did we get another 10 somewhere at some point? No, I guess we didn't. All right. All right, the courage to change. So let's look at or ask, okay, what do I have to find the courage to do? Okay. One, face death. Death is an energy and it's a reality. In life, we're facing death every single second. Whether we're marching towards it as a natural um, uh, life 
physical life process or whether um, it's something that, you know, suddenly can happen just because of divine timing or um, a care, an accident or a disease or, um, or it's something that we experience because seasons change, the sun sets, phases end, right? Like, so we have to, have to have the courage to change the things we can, right? And so, We also can choose when to when things die. We have the power to choose to say, this is no longer working for me. This is no longer a part of my path. This is no longer, uh, these are no longer people that I want in my life or a job I want to go to work at every day. I'm missing out on things, you know, that are also important to me. So we get to choose it and we get to choose how we transform and how we face this energy. You know, the child sees it as like, oh, it's a little parade coming by. Um, the lady faints. The person here is dead. Um, you know, the, the spiritual leader is, you know, um, I don't know if it's placating it so much or praying through it or uh, offering hope, right? Because he's in the robe, same color as the sun coming up through the... Um, the towers in the background. Um, but we, we can be that force as well. As something dies and passes away and is no longer useful or helpful in maintaining a creative life, we can say, okay, goodbye, time to let it go. And have courage, right? And to speak our truth, our truth, okay? She is a feminine, energy that has been through a lot and she doesn't miss a thing. And once upon a time, maybe she had to work hard to eliminate beliefs that she had about herself or she um, could have been afraid to speak her truth, or she could have been, quite frankly, she could have been harsh, trying to fight so hard to be heard or understood, but here she doesn't. Yeah, and the trees, you can see like kind of like the winds of change here. They're blowing through, but they're, it's not like a storm, right? It's not like, um, oh, uh, Knight of Swords um, or Page of Swords, okay? The, it's not, something's still move, moving through. This is air, right? It's mental and verbal energy. There is a new notion or idea or something that 
can be expressed if you have the courage. Courage to change the things I can, to speak, to speak my truth, maybe to lead, maybe to teach. You know, the Leo to the Leo energy, right, is playful and it's a leader and it's courageous. And it's new. Maybe to allow other people to see you new or to hear you speak your truths in a new way or to speak it for the first time at all but from a place of empowerment and authenticity and strength and confidence and royalty and nobility. The butterflies at the bottom of her, right? She's transformed. She's transformed and she can, as a teacher, be a helpful guide maybe even to help others to move through that process. Okay. Um, okay, and the wisdom. What does the wisdom need to draw from? The wisdom to know the difference. What is the wisdom? Good word. It was a lot. The wisdom to know the difference. Oh boy. Okay. Um, well, it came in two parts, so let's, let's do this. <sighs> okay, so what do I want to put out there in the world? Or what have I put out, in the, out there in the world that I'm waiting to come back towards me? That's underlying, right? Okay. Um, what do I want to manifest with, okay, the devil card remembers Capricorn, Saturn, um, as well as it can be being uh, bogged down in um, toxic anything, you name it, okay? Um, things that keep us so weighted down that we forget that we are creators, that we are spiritual and human and designed to be here to work the magic of both, right? The devil energy would take that sense uh, oh, oh, um, from us. Or it would mutate it so that the spiritual higher part of it gets lost. Um, and so, and so what is the wisdom? Well, one, the wisdom is, I think, that one, to remember, you are a spiritual creator. There may be some things right now that aren't fully formed, some ideas, some notions. Um, you know, you're not quite ready to start that process of manifesting, which is why I said like, there's something about Saturn slash Capricorn right now that while you might wanna move forward, you just, you can't. And, and Saturn or Cap, Capricorn slash Saturn being what I call the tough love daddy, like kind of, is restrictive like um no there's some tough things that we need to go through there's some lessons that we need to go through first um and it can it also can be um uh super um <sighs> structured my way the highway or the highway okay um, so, you 
What I want to say is the wisdom to know the difference. So we so we talked about this like heaviness here, right? Versus the authentic new expression um, here. In order to be able to move forward, it is important to be able to honor both of those things that you can't just fly off the handle without taking time to think, to be clear, to be intentional, to understand what it is that you want to create and set up the solid foundation for it, as well as to let go of anything that's too heavy that would hold you down from even believing that you have that power, okay? So there's, there's wisdom in the balance, right? It's gonna be slow. It's gonna be a slow process. It's gonna be something though that if you do the work necessary, it will set a solid foundation um, and one that uh, yeah, it's gonna and where is that? Where did I see that card? Well, it's it's setting a solid foundation, but it is going to require, an understanding that the work is the thing. Practicing is the thing. Being in the meditative experience of doing the work is important. Think change doesn't happen overnight, but there's an opportunity here, uh, an offer that is coming in to do, to change to build, to have. Okay. So we're very, very close. Very, very close to achieving a goal. Okay. What does very, very, very close mean to you? It may be that, that we need to remember it's not right around the corner. It's not tomorrow. It may not be next week. It may not be next month. It may not even be, you know, it may be a year. But in terms of your life or in terms of however you're deciding to look at this, if we're looking at it in, as terms of globally and humanity, I mean, a year isn't that long. For for me, some of the, I, I can't wait a day sometimes. Like, uh, that's when we have to practice the serenity prayer, go back, just do what you can do, keep working, working on things, decluttering, throwing out what no longer serves, staying focused, Holding the vision, holding the vision, right? Wands, purpose, passion, fire, life force. Hold the vision. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and move into looking at for each sign. Um... A, do I want to do that or do I want to do the elements? Um, or do I want to just leave this? 
Leave this go. I, I made you a promise. All right, let's see. Let's look at a possible block and let's just do, um, let's just do the elements. Keep hearing, okay, the elements, okay. So for fire signs, since we're looking at the new moon in Leo, we're getting ready to leave Leo season and move into Virgo season, which is interesting, right? See a lot of the uh, pentacles coming out, that earth energy. Ah, vanity. Okay, kind of um, hearkening back. Don't let ego get in your way. Okay, so for the fire signs, possible block. Maybe ego, maybe vanity. Um, it's in the blue, the throat chakra. So, you know, let's look at that. Possible block for fire signs. Which you want to be aware of. Yeah, this is about communication, okay? May want to do some work on your throat chakras for to look at energy. Um, only you are going to know what this is about for you. Again, look at sun, moon, and rising, and I would probably start with my rising sign. Uh, the tenuous balance between what is true in our heart and what we communicate is reflected in in aqua i guess this person's called aqua um oh no aqua color all right are you living and communicating your truth or just playing along this may be a time of awakening to a new way of being be aware of distractions that may pull you away from the true you okay be aware of distractions and let's see if there's any more um we all say we will stop when we have enough, but there's never enough. You may be looking outside yourself for validation. Personal inquiry, am I feeling disconnected from any people in my life? Am I growing away from limiting relationships? Um, key ideas to look at, environmental tension, living in illusion, self-doubt, power to change, lesser companions, and empty conversations which I already talked about in this reading. So this is strong coming up for you as a fire sign, right? And then we'll get one Oracle message from Wisdom of the Oracle. This is a newer deck. What is a final message for fire signs, which would be Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Sun, moon and rising go oh to the sea seven all right so what i'm seeing and i'll i'll read again you know seven potential here for choices that have to do with your spiritual leveling up and growth. There's potential here. I see her on a ship at sea and the water for me representing emotions to once again, let your, your feelings um, be your, your guide. Um, And it may be time to just sit with your feelings right now, but let's let's see. Seven. I want to read out of this book because I just I've I've now started listening to Colette Baron Reed. This is from Wisdom of the of the Oracle from Colette Baron Reed, um, and I came upon her on on YouTube, of all places, uh, like I guess within the last month. So um, I think she's just a lovely person and um, I'm going to 
definitely read out of books. Essential meanings being in flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. Wonderful. Okay, so now let's look at um, Earth. So coming up into Virgo season. Let's look at Earth. Uh, let's shuffle this deck for Earth. Okay, so possible block for Earth for Earth. Uh, so we have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What could be a possible block that our Earth elements, Earth signs, need to be aware of? Okay. Ooh. All right. So we have grief. Mysticism, interesting, and soulmate. Okay, a uh, possible block. Um, maybe something is preventing you, uh, grief from a uh, loss of something, maybe preventing you from uh, bringing in soulmate. Um, <clears throat> if that is what you are wanting to create, uh, it may be time for you to use your uh, mind's eye to trust, to have faith in um, bringing in a new soulmate. But let's let's go ahead and just look at grief. So that would be working on your heart chakra your um, crown chakra and your root chakra. Uh, the crown and the root working together, right? So the, the strengthening trust and your heart is the center of all of both of those, right? Right in the, in the center. Um, so maybe time to work through those um, chakra energies. Okay, what? I'm not, no. Um, I guess this person is called Penelope the Pickle. Pickle represents the strength of character inherent in true love. This card heralds a deep caring and an ability to heal and love again, however deep the pain or hard the challenges you face. Troubled times denote smooth sailing ahead. What did I say? All right, so we've got smooth sailing ahead even though you may have gone through some troubled times whatever that means for you okay um <sighs> penelope and pickle remind us that what we reveal we can heal okay whatever we reveal whatever we express whatever we express our truth we can heal Give yourself time, you will love again. If you honor your pain, it will change your life. Per honor your pain, let death move through, remember? Okay, personal inquiry. Is lingering grief preventing me from progress? What can I see in my heart? Key ideas, feeling grief, healing process, missing someone or something, being unafraid of sadness, love is on the horizon. Nice. All right, mysticism. A woman named Aubergine. This is a time of trusting in the unknown. You already sense the answer, even if it is not apparent. 
Do not ask others what they see, for you alone can see into the heart of the matter. Trust your intuitive powers to guide you. So if you aren't allowing yourself to fully grieve, to let go, to trust that you can have love again, this may be a block for you. And, and listening to other people, that is not helpful. That is not, oh God, I used to do that all the time. But what do you think? What do you think? Oh, I had to train myself to start listening to my own intuition. And I still, I still need confirmation, right? Or wouldn't be drawing cards. Uh, but this helps me to, to get in touch with my own intuition and uh, connect into the unconscious collective that we all are a part of, right? Um, inspiration. It is wise to be the observer. Uh, do not respond until you are certain. The unknown is not easy, but it is no longer necessary to fear. Am I ignoring my intuition? What I suspect is probably true. I must breathe. Key ideas, ignoring signs, unknown motivation, intuitive knowing, fear of the unknown, and journey. Okay, so you consider what makes sense for you in terms of these being a potential block. And then from the root chakra, we've got soulmate. Um, you know, some people still think soulmates, it's all like love and roses. Sometimes soulmates are painful. They require us to grow, right? Rose without thorns. This card indicates changing old communication patterns and being open to a new way of interacting. You may no longer be able to have conversations that don't sustain your authenticity. Freedom lies ahead better than you can imagine, right? The courage to do this. To understand your growth and being able to communicate and be authentic in your communication. And if, and if you're not feeling that, right, that, that these are potential blocks to work through, to do that work, communicating and getting yourself. Uh, to enjoy the beauty of a rose, we must risk being pricked by our inner thorns. This offers a new way to live. The best incentive to change is love. Personal inquiry, what truth am I embracing? This card indicates no longer living a lie. Wow. Um, key idea, speaking your truth, choosing love, freedom through transformation, resistance to commitment, an unexpected outcome, and new truths. Can't believe how much like this card is being reinforced. This is the courage that is needed. Okay. Oh, and uh, one more. Okay. A message from the wisdom of the Oracle. What do the earth signs, the other message for our earth signs, a message from our earth signs, other message from the earth signs. Mm -hmm. Never ending, never ending story, building blocks, two tens in a row, you got 37 and 28, okay, 10, 10, and then a nine, time to let go, okay? That I would read from the book, I will. Um, 37, never ending story. You know, sometimes these things, they just keep repeating and repeating and repeating until, you know, we learn our lesson or we get sick of having the same thing come up over and over and over again, right? Essential meaning self criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. There is a story woven through the imperfect fabric of life that tells of hurt and loss, rejection and humiliation, self loathing and arrogance, and all manner of suffering born of unnecessary dramas. It is the old story whose refrain is that you cannot do this, must not go there, should not say that, lest your world come crumbling down. 
Today, know that none of this is actually true. The sky is not falling. The voice you hear is just a small, scared, conditioned part of you that got stuck in a lie, wants to protect you, and needs to be seen as a victim. Love that lost piece of you. Fear is all it knows. Distorted guidance is preventing you from being true to yourself. You are not your story, and the narrator is simply the voice of your fearful part, small and vulnerable and easily soothed. So we talked about that with the um, Six of Cups energy, okay? So, um, you know, you can change your story. You are the hero of your story. Building Blocks, 28. You do not need to be a victim. Building blocks, strong foundations, a beautiful work in progress. The or you have everything you need to cultivate an extraordinary life. This is a time when your focus needs to be on the foundations you build upon. Your work, your relationships, and your very being are underwritten by your values, ethics, morals, and core beliefs. Are they still true for you? Will they stand the test of time and serve as the solid grounding upon which you construct your life? Now you are making changes that will affect everything in a very positive way. Your destiny is truly a remarkable and beautiful design. Love it. Okay? So, I'm going to do the work. I'm going to change the beliefs. I'm going to heal the hurt. Okay? And rebuild a stronger, more solid foundation. And time to go. We've got to leave behind what is no longer serving. Let death come. Right, so why am I having a problem with this? All right, endings, completion, walking away from something because there's nothing else to learn or experience. We had a lot of leveling up. We've got the chariot, we've got the ten of pentacles. Um, yeah. You are at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next. This is the moment to bless your experience thus far. Take stock of what you've learned. It's time to move on to new experiences and a new way of being. There's nothing left for you to do, be, or experience in your present circumstances. Take the risk and move on, even if you need to be in transition for a time. Your destiny is calling you. Exactly. So like that's what this is, okay? that moment where we're like okay here's what I did here's where I've been here's where I've you know been victorious now I'm gonna take a pause I'm really gonna just make a choice for what comes next okay all right earth signs very well very good wow Look at these coming out here really reinforcing the original, the reading, right? Okay, uh, so let's move into water. The water element which would be cancer and will be um, Scorpio and Pisces. Again, sun, moon, and rising. I would start with rising. What is your rising sign? If you don't know it, go to astro.com, put in your all of your birth information, including the precise location of where you were born, the city, the state, the country, all that, and the time, okay? The reason why is because that sets your ascendant or rising sign is the first house on your chart, and that sets up all the other houses and where the different planets and aspects are lining up, so... Um, Certainly with tarot, you can look at sun, moon, rising, and Venus if you want to look at love and abundance. But for me, what I've come to kind of really understand, um, and uh, it's more true for me, is um, 
that the rising sign is really kind of on it for me. Um, this went off, offline. Uh, all right, so potential block. block for water signs. Acceptance. <laughs> Said serenity prayer, right? Keeps coming up. Acceptance, again, with the root chakra. Workaholic. All right, we're looking at our throat chakra again. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's a couple of blueberries. And faith. Um... Wow, beautiful. The crown chakra. Okay, so it may be let's see. Acceptance. Or water signs. Innocence and an inability to see one's gifts are indicated, as well as the protection of spirit guides, good luck, and an increase in self-esteem and confidence. So if this is a black, it may be, once again, that you if we go back and, and remember what I was saying about moving through those limiting beliefs, believing that you are worthy, capable, looking at the Six of Cups, what does your inner child want? Like really working through those issues to, to understand like, um, no, I, 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 I can do, I can be, I, I am um, just who I am and, and, and I'm worthy of, of creating what I want. Let's see. A magical box of self-acceptance appears before you. Your unique qualities reside within. Open it. Are things simple now? Cherry Heart invites you to see yourself as complete, just as you are. Personal inquiry. Am I assessing myself accurately, or am I distorting my reality in a self-defeating way? Can I simply accept myself? Uh, key ideas. New ways of seeing yourself. Embracing imperfection. Feeling incomplete. Or selling yourself short. Okay, this would be possible blacks to the manifestation of this reading. Workaholic. All right, so there's a whole lot going on with that workaholic. Some of us think that we create our worth and our value by working, improving our worth and our value by working, which is what creates that workaholic, workaholism. Uh, but let's see. Uh, he, the earthy brown of creation mixes with inspirational violet. This card indicates one of the most powerful manifesting energies. Now you are very prolific. If what you are creating stalls, you may need to recharge and know your limits. Inspiration. Are you waiting to complete your career before you live your life? Busy work may be helping you hide from the real issues. Personal inquiry, am I working too much and suffering from burnout? Is there something important that I'm avoiding doing? Key ideas, feeling of inadequacy, transformation indicated, not being fulfilled by work, heating warnings, refreshing your mind to improve your work. So remember we talked about this, um, the Ten of Pentacles, you know, something's complete and, and it it's time to accept that it's something new could be created don't get so bogged down and this is what I've always done who I've always been um, uh, yeah don't get weighed down um, okay and faith remember these are the um, is in the potential blocks for the water signs. We are all wounded. Some wounds are recognized easily while others are not. Forge ahead and do not allow your pain to hold you back. You are meant to inspire others and if you do not carry on they will suffer. It is time to deliver your message. Okay. 
What frightens you is something much smaller than you know. If you are experiencing pain, holding on tighter will only worsen the situation. Your greatness awaits. Personal inquiry. I have tremendous amount of personal magnetism. Am I allowing myself to shine? New moon in Leo, baby. Gotta shine. Uh, near, keep key ideas, narrow focus, miracles all around, not following wise counsel, not accepting your gifts, using energy in a self-defeating way. Wow. Okay. And then I don't remember if I already shuffled these, so I'm going to shuffle them a couple more times. For water signs. Shine your light, speak your truth. You are enough as you are. Water signs. Okay, what other messages are here for water signs? What other message are here for elements? Water elements. Oh, come on, I don't want all those. Um, all right, we got regeneration. Remember we talked about that? That was kind of wrapped around. I gotta re read that um, in my book about the magician if that's actually a snake or just looks like one. Um, oh, dang it. I don't know what I just did. Which ones were up and which ones were down? Okay. Let's just turn them all up. All the glitters, never ending story, by the book, and observer. Regeneration. Yeah. You know, if you've come through something, we talked about that earlier, you know, coming, moving into calmer waters um, by remembering, though, that you are the, the, the uh, magician. And I saw a snake wrapped around his waist, and I felt that that was about regeneration and renewal and new life is coming and you know, maybe even faith and belief in yourself. Um, 46. And maybe I saw a snake, and it's not really a snake, but I saw it because I'm Scorpio rising. All about regeneration. Rebirth, second chances, new opportunities. Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or a loss is now being replaced by something better and more powerful growing in its place. This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. Again, there's an, this is another 10 energy. Wow. Okay, all that glitters. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna read every single one of these now because I'm not exactly sure, but just remember that, you know, some things may look really great until we get in them. So it's important to remember, this is a time of sitting back, taking our time, making sure we get all the information that we're very clear and setting our intentions before we move forward, right? Um, and it's okay if once upon a time we thought certain things were, you know, super special and we realized, no, maybe not. Okay? It's okay. Uh, the never-ending end story. Okay? We get to choose our narrative. We get to decide how this story ends. We get to decide whether we are empowered or are in a victim position. And I hope that we're choosing to be empowered. All right, let's look at this one. By the book. I love this. The little elephants are all together. All 
Heart and elephant's just magical. And this is a number 11. Master number 11. Abiding by social rules, conformity, respecting cultural or family customs, and universal laws. The universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that provides a framework for human experience and evolution. Law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, law of thought, law of compensation, and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in universal law. Human beings, in turn, have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behavior, reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is important. This is the time to learn these laws and conform to them, rather than being the rebel and flouting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules, even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance, for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to those universal laws and it will become easier to go by the book this time. Now, I wasn't sure if this was in the reverse. So, if it was in the reverse, then you would be getting a protection message, which would be um, the opposite. But what I said earlier in the reading is we have to balance these two things. The, the, the fact that we can let go, let something die, and that we have to work within certain structures and energies that come up that require us to do to move a little bit slower even though that we're wanting something new um, and that the winds of change are here sometimes they just don't happen as fast as we want uh, but the protection message is challenge the structures that are limiting authentic progress it is not enough to rebel in small ways this is a call to revolution okay so however that speaks to you and observer 49 and again this one I just okay perspective objectivity neutral observation from a distance most people see the world through a personal lens they closely identify with their feelings and experiences, so much so that they come to believe that these are the only reality. Remember, don't let ego get in your way. There are times when you need to distance in order to gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. Now is one of those times in your life. This is a perfect moment for you to begin to do some exploring. Instead of only considering yourself, consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture, and environment you're engaged with now. You'll be so happy you did. Illumination is the miracle you seek and will indeed find. And for protection, ever think sometimes your life options are suction cup to your face and you can't see beyond yourself? There's a big world out there, a multitude of potential realities that you're unable to perceive at present. So you're a little stuck? It's time to get advice from someone you trust, someone who has a better perspective on your circumstances. Other points of view are needed now before you move forward. Okay. And let's see. Where's... We're going to do air... Finally, we're going to do the air signs, which are um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So we will look at first. Um, potential blocks for the air sign, and then we will look at uh, the any further final thoughts and messages.
Okay, potential blacks. Wow, that was fast. Discovery. Hmm. Interesting. Might be something new for you to discover about yourself, air signs. <laughs> so root chakra, okay? So if we're having any issues um, with this, okay, this potential block might be wanting to work on some root chakra. Uh, in the past, you may not have been fully prepared to face facts. Being willing to take the journey regardless of the outcome will prove rewarding. Get ready to carry a commitment through to completion. Hmm. Are you trying to recapture a past that no longer fits? If you are presently upset or struggling with a difficult situation, you may be seeking to keep something that is far less than what you deserve. I don't remember if I held this up to you. Sorry. Discovery. Am I happy in this situation? How is it benefiting me? The healing of predetermined agreements must be addressed. Awareness is healing. Key ideas leaving the past behind. Readiness for a new adventure. A willingness to venture into uncharted territory. A new level of self-care. Right. Okay, so you got to be willing to accept. Remember, we had the death card. Moving through, a willingness to accept new information, a willingness to express ourselves more authentically, a willingness to move um, forward and not get so bogged down in what has been in what has been before. Right, air signs? Okay, and this is just, this is popping out at me right now, okay? This was at the bottom of the deck, vanity. So once again, don't let ego get in your way, okay? And a final message. No, 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 <laughs> I can't take like blocks of these. This is crazy. Okay, no, just one or two, please. One or two messages, final messages for ear signs. Thank you. You guys, I do this all the time. I do my own readings. Um, you know, stacks of cards will come out and I'm like, no. And then if I, if I, sometimes I'll take them. It just feels right. Just go ahead and take them, Melissa. And then other times it's like, no, just no. I need something more succinct and one card or two cards will come out so don't freak out if I don't take the cards that flip over the card have faith card is always going to come out that needs to come out okay and we've got yin in the protection position okay so two in reverse or in the protection position okay so the Essential meanings are the feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking in cues, and the art of conscious allowing. Yeah, you may not be allowing something. You may be trying to be too much of the director, right? Um, and ugh. let me just read. Do you have trouble receiving? You stop the flow of abundance when you continually insist upon being the giver. You can't always lead, always give, always teach. You must be the student, the open vessel, the one who receives the gift, gesture, or offer in equal measure. Open up and let love, life, abundance, and spirit fill you without demand or expectation. Just receive the bounty that is yours. Yes, remember sometimes we're the person that is the helper and helping these people, and other times we are these people and we're accepting this help. You know, we can speak our truth, but we're not the 
director of the truth, and we certainly are not here to speak for others, right? We can teach, offer, help, guide, but we also have to be able to accept that. Okay, so, oh, thank you everyone for being here. Um, as I said in the beginning, you mean so much um, to me, and if I can help even one person, um, I, I guess that's all uh, that, um, I guess that's all that matters right now. Um, remember that your journey matters, your healing matters, everything that you've gone through matters, everything that you will do matters. And, um, you know, honey, be you, honey, be safe, honey, be well. Thank you. Bye-bye.